The city of New Orleans no longer a sanctuary city. This is all thanks to Louisiana's attorney general, who has been an advocate for his state, as well as other sanctuary cities, saying enough is enough. It creates more crime and even death. With me now, Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Um, what does this victory mean for you and the city of New Orleans and other sanctuary cities? Well, I think it certainly it means that New Orleans is safer today than it was uh, several days ago. I think that sanctuary cities are a public safety crisis here in, in, in our nation. Uh, in those major cities that engage in sanctuary city policies because what they do is they create a safe haven for criminals who are in this country illegally and a place for them to hide so they can go about their, their trade or conduct illegal activities and, and without yeah. the fear of being identified and deported. Now, sir, uh, you, I want to, the viewer to understand about crime and what was happening with crime in the city of New Orleans. And also, I think you have... Uh, data from uh, other sanctuary cities like Los Angeles. Uh, can you show us how crime jumps in these jurisdictions? Sure. What you've seen, what, what we have seen nationally is that those cities who engage in sanctuary city policies, crime actually increases in those municipalities when you compare them to cities of the same size who don't engage in sanctuary city policies. Because again, what happens is you create a safe haven for those in the country illegally who are criminals, who go out and conduct criminal activity. All right, and what do, you, what do you make of this? A State Department official could not answer uh, yesterday whether refugees are screened for uh, basically jihadi views during a Senate hearing. What are your thoughts about that? Well, again, uh, again, sanctuary cities, again, create a national security issue because, again, if you want to come into this country illegally and you are a, or an international terrorist that wants to wreak havoc on our citizens on the homeland, where do you go? You go into cities under which if you create minor violations of the law, your identity will not be known because what those policies do is prohibit law enforcement from collaborating with federal officials. So if a police officer has a person in custody who's here in the country illegally, and they're on the terrorist watch list, we won't know about them because yeah. the policy is not to cooperate. And Attorney General, uh, forgive me if you don't know about this topic. We're just looking into it now. A number of countries in South America and possibly Latin America, you know, all you need to travel is a government ID card. You don't need a visa or a passport. What do you make of that? Well, again, if, you, if you're traveling into the United States, we certainly want to ensure that you have a passport. I know that if I want to travel into, say, a country like Brazil down in South America, not only do I have to have a passport, but I have to have a visa, which is, of course, as you know, a lot tougher to get than a passport. Yeah. And, you know, we also know, Attorney General, you know this, too, that in the Middle East, there's a major fake passport factories popping up all over. Attorney General Landry, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it.